What's going on guys? So I am asked probably a dozen times at least each month to review various products that manufacturers contact me about. They'll send me an email and they'll ask me to do a review on LED light bulbs, LED light bars, different equipment that I really don't know how it would even apply to my truck in general or RVing. And 99% of the time I turn them down because I just don't think they're relevant to what my channel's about. And I don't want to put trash out there that has nothing to do with what you guys come to my channel to watch. Occasionally, though, I get contacted by companies that offer very, very relevant solutions for different things that we run into when we're going out RVing, when it comes to maintaining our RV or our vehicle, and it just makes sense to talk about the product. So the first thing I always tell them is that I do a fair and honest evaluation of the product, and I want to showcase only things that I think are built well look like they're engineered well and will benefit the viewers of my channel. And recently I was contacted by a company that I think fits the bill really, really well and I'm really interested in seeing how their product works. So what you're looking at in front of you is called the Lube Shuttle. At least Lube Shuttle is the manufacturer and they have several different products. The specific one that's in front of you is called the Accu Greaser. It's an 18 volt cordless grease gun. This thing is really cool. It's essentially like a power drill, but it's a grease gun instead. But before you just think this is just a fancy grease gun, you have to see what this lube shuttle is all about. This is a very, very innovative product. So if you've ever had to grease up your bearings or you know work with different Zerks around your RV, such as the wet bolts and maybe the hitch, it can be kind of messy because your traditional grease gun, you basically insert a tube in the end and it presses the grease up throughout the hose into the specific Zerk that you're trying to grease at that moment. The problem is it can be very messy and the process of greasing all the Zerks and greasing all of the connections can be a very dirty job. So Lube Shuttle has fixed the problem by making these really, really innovative canisters that actually screw into place. So instead of the traditional way of doing it where you peel the end off and then you kind of put it in place and it's pretty much stuck there until it's empty. Otherwise you're going to have this gobby gooey mess every time you try to pull it out. This specific system is a very clean operating system. You simply again unscrew the end here. You'll see the grease right there and then you screw it into the bottom of the canister. So there's no mess. There's no grease that's going to seep out from around the edges and make a mess with everything. Now this specific setup is a very cool setup because it's completely electric. So I have the ability to electronically have it pump the grease into the Zerk. And the reason why this is so convenient is because typically the style that most people have, which is the manual one, which is the one that I've always used, requires you to pump a handle. So you plug the connection into your grease Zerk and then you end up having to pump the handle and hold the canister in both hands. This one gives you the ability to position this on top of your Zerk and then simply press the handle to pump the grease in. We're going to go out to the RV. We're going to check this thing out and see how well it works. So guys, I am back here at the RV. A couple days have gone by, and the reason why is because I contacted the folks over at Lube Shuttle, and I told them that it might make sense to show not just their very high-end 18-volt powered system, but also their trigger pull system, mainly because if you don't want to pay the amount of money that you'd have to pay to get this system, you might want the trigger pull. Now, a lot of people might say, you know what, I'm used to the old-fashioned way of doing things. I have a lever system, and it works fine, or I have a trigger pull system that I got on Amazon, super cheap, and it works fine. Why would I want a system like this that costs upward of $350? And the true answer to that is there are a lot of folks who suffer from carpal tunnel and arthritis and have problems with strength in their hand. So operating a lever pull system or a trigger pull system might not be something that can work real well for them. The reason why the AccuGreaser 18 volt system is so convenient simply is the fact that it's powered and it's just a small trigger pull in order to utilize the system. So that is a very, very good reason to go with the 18 volt system if it's in your budget, if it's something that would make your life easier, and if it just allows you to operate a grease gun where in the past you might not have been able to. Now, the reason why I have two systems here is because the trigger pull system is about an $80 to $100 system. The 18 volt system is about a $350 system. It comes with a battery and a charger and everything you would need to get started. 
Now, the grease that you use in both of these are these plastic tubes. They don't have the traditional setup that you might see with a normal paper grease tube or plastic grease tube. In most grease tubes, you have to remove a cap off the back and the grease is fully exposed. So when you put it in the grease gun, you pull the plunger back and the plunger is essentially pushing directly up against the grease. That can lead to a very messy situation, but more importantly, it tends to lead to leaked grease wherever you store your grease gun, unless you remove the grease, which makes it even messier. So in my case, I kept my grease gun in the toolbox in the back of my truck, and every time I would go into my toolbox to get it, there was a mess of grease around the actual grease gun, and I lost a tremendous amount of grease just to the fact that there's always pressure that's pushing grease up through the system, and it leaks out the end. So what I'd end up having to do is tie off paper towels or whatever I could around the end but most of the time it's just a very inconvenient way of storing a grease gun when you're not using it with this system because these caps simply screw on and off when you plug this in or when you screw this into the bottom of any of their grease guns there's no pressure being applied to the system. The only time there's pressure or suction and vacuum that's applied to the system is when you're operating the trigger, when you're operating the lever on their lever pull system, or when you're pulling the trigger on this system. So let's go ahead and get to the system. I'm gonna use it on my RV just to demonstrate how it works. The best practice and the first thing you need to keep in mind is when you are gonna insert the actual grease tube into the bottom of your grease gun, you need to push a little bit out just so it bulges out on top of this little rim right here. So you're gonna press from the bottom, press up a little bit until you see a little bit of grease appear. So you can see where it's now sticking out of the top. And on the 18 volt model, you'll simply slide the grease tube in, screw it in place, and you're ready to go. Now let's do the same for the trigger pull. So first I'll take the cap off the top. I'll press the bottom so a little bit of grease comes out of the top. And then I'll grab the trigger pull system. And I'll also screw that into place. So to use the system, you're gonna to wanna to do full pumps from the handle. So basically release the handle all the way and then pump it all the way and release it all the way. That's so the piston works properly and it pulls or suctions the correct amount of lubrication through the actual tube. So you'll see right here. And again, what's really nice is the fact that there's no grease that's forcing its way out because there's only grease that will be applied when you're physically pumping the handle. This is a really cool setup, and this is probably going to be the most common or most popular setup that I would imagine RVers or truck owners would want to use. Now let's go to the 18-volt system. Now, utilizing the 18-volt system, now that I have the tube in place, all I really have to do is press the handle. Now it may take a second to get the actual... Uh, grease pumped through the tube, but it shouldn't take very long. Okay, so the grease has now started coming out. Very evenly. So I'm really impressed with it. This is a really cool setup. This is going to be the one I predominantly use. What's really nice about this one or the trigger pull model is the fact that you can keep one hand on the grease zerk and keep this plugged in and the other hand on your trigger. So that's really nice. It's a one-handed operation from an operational perspective. Let's go ahead and move to the RV so you can see me grease up the zerk beneath the goose box. Okay, first I'm going to connect the trigger pull version to it. And then I'll simply pump the handle a few times. And I'm done. Now I'm gonna use the 18 volt version and simply pull the trigger. And that's it. And the same works just as well for your wet bolts. So you simply put it here, press it onto that wet bolt up top. And that's it. This thing works exceptionally well, and it provides the correct amount of force to actually get the grease to go into the Zerk, which is very important. 
And because it has a flexible hose, I can get to these other grease zerks that normally would be a challenge with a traditional handle pump with that long metal spout. And you can see it coming out the top right there, just the way it's supposed to. Anyways, guys, these are very, very cool tools to have. They make the job a little bit easier. I know when you compare it to the real cheap or low cost uh, grease guns that you see on Amazon, these are gonna be considered kind of expensive, but they're very well made. They're both made in Germany. And just the fact that they're so easy to work with, they're so easy to swap grease tubes and really just store so you don't have to worry about grease getting everywhere. It's really worth having if you do this type of maintenance yourself, because this is something you should really know how to do yourself. In my opinion, this is probably Probably the best setup because it combines the ease of an 18 volt power tool with the screw in type grease tube and a system that doesn't rely on tension to push the grease up but relies on suction and vacuum and pressure which makes it a much less messy option. Anyways guys I will put a link in the description of this video to their website if you're interested in it. I really appreciate them for sending it to me. If you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.